People often ask me what are the common mistakes leaders make in implementing their supplier relationship management programs. What happens is that these programs tend to run out of steam. So I think there are five key mistakes organizations typically make. The first mistake organizations make, and it's completely understandable, is that almost inevitably the supplier relationship management program is being led by procurement. The problem is, is that it becomes associated with procurement and not as an integrated business-wide competence. So procurement needs to reach out to stakeholders and look for those stakeholders to take shared ownership and ensuring that the program continues to have legs. The second issue is that there is, at a fundamental level, an overvaluing of the supplier relationship. Some organizations are hooked on the notion of collaboration. Now there's nothing wrong with collaboration and it is to be encouraged, but not in all cases. Collaboration is only one of a number of tools that procurement people use with leverage and risk management being two of the other key ones. So let's not get hooked on the relationship. Let's think about tangible value that comes from those key relationships. We often find that in our engagement with stakeholders around the business is that there is a misalignment in our priorities. Operations want products and services delivered on time. Marketing want great campaigns. Procurement are driven by finance to deliver cost savings. Failing to reconcile what are sometimes competing priorities is a real problem. So leaders need to, t to focus in on that and do whatever they can to reconcile those priorities once again to ensure that the program continues on track. The lack of an SRM process, a framework with tools and templates, is another big cause of why SRM programs typically run out of steam. People think that maybe if we just met with a supplier a little bit more often, had a little bit more formality, and talked a little bit more about cooperation and innovation, that somehow we'll get there. Now, at its heart, Supplier relationship management is a systematic process of managing value and for that you need a framework and a toolkit. And finally, we lose momentum in these programs because we haven't got a visible support from the top. Once we find that senior executives continue to meet with suppliers without consulting their SRM leaders, their relationship leaders within the business, we find that the process the whole program can begin to unravel. So it's really important that there's a senior executive involved in that relationship and that executive sponsors and leads by example. So those are the five common mistakes that organizations typically make in their supplier relationship management program. And I hope that those are the ones that you're no longer going to make.